Welcome to the Dubber Tree Schools CSS Padding tutorial. The CSS padding properties define the space between the element border and the element content. Let's look at an example. The padding clears an area around the content of an element. In this example, the content of this paragraph element is text. The padding area around it is transparent and shows the background of the element it's applied to. Here we have one paragraph with padding and another without. Let's add some more text to this element so we can demonstrate more clearly. The top, right, bottom and left padding can be changed independently using separate properties. Let's set the top padding using padding top to 10 pixels and uh, right padding using padding right to 60 pixels. The bottom using padding bottom to 80 pixels and the left padding using padding left to 120 pixels. Or you can use the shorthand property to set the padding for all sides at once. The shorthand property for padding is simply padding. You can set the padding with a fixed value like pixels or PT or EM or you can set it with percent. If you set it with percent, it's percent of the containing element. The padding property can have from one to four values. Set the padding to 50 pixels and all four padding sides are 50 pixels. We set the padding to 10 pixels space 50 pixels then the top and bottom padding are 10 pixels and the right and left paddings are 50 pixels. If we set the padding to 10 pixels space 50 pixels space 80 pixels then the top padding is 10 pixels the right and left paddings are 50 pixels and the bottom padding is 80 pixels. If we set the padding to 10 pixels, 50 pixels, 80 pixels and 120 pixels, then the top padding is 10 pixels, the right padding is 50 pixels, the bottom padding is 80 pixels and the left padding is 120 pixels. On the W3 Schools tutorial page, there are more examples and we list all the CSS padding properties. And there's a link for each property that goes to our CSS reference, where you can find more information for any CSS property. And this concludes our tutorial for CSS padding. Thank you for watching.